demonstration of the Shanti uh, Shiva canvas element. And basically what I've got here is a group of elements that are uh, created uh, in these other tabs here, like timeline from there, map, uh, videos, etc. So they've all been collected as, as my elements in there, and I can filter them up and say I only want to see you know, controls and elements and things like that, but I want to see everything at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect a few and add them in there. So let's go to, uh, uh, let's, we're going to want a dialog box for sure. Let's add Martin Luther King picture, Shanti logo, and um, and this map of the ball. Okay, so now we're going to go here, and now the setup menu allows you to move, move things around and uh, change the size and things like that. So this is a composite map with, with some layers on Okay, and that's got a, an image on top of it and a marker, so the three layer, two layers on it. Uh, Martin Luther King image, and maybe we'll, we'll move Martin Luther King on top of the map. So that means moving the map up, and, and I guess we want the logo on top of Martin Luther King. Okay, so now we, we re rearrange things, and let's... Okay, so this is our thing. Right now what we've got is a static view, which is fine. So when we view it, this is what we would see. They're, they're, you know, it's a, it's a live map in there, but these buttons aren't connected to anything. First thing we want to do is, let's say we want to use that this checkbox to turn on and off this logo. So let's go and do that. So I'm going to go to the link menu, and all the elements that we put on the screen have a uh, icon associated with them. So let's use the checkbox to turn on the logo. By default, the checkbox in this case was checked, so we're going to want to use it to turn it off. So let's go here, and now it's off. And now we're controlling the checkbox with the, I'm sorry, controlling the Shanti logo with the checkbox, and that's kind of cool. Now we can also change, control lots of things. So for example, the, um, let's go to the, uh, go back to the link. And let's say we want to control um, a layer. There are two layers on this map. One was a dot and one was the image. Just say I want to control the layer with, with this true-false button. Let's do the second image. So when it's true, I want to hide it. Or maybe when it's false, I want to hide it. Okay, and so now when we go here, the true, when we go to false, it turns it off. So I could can control things within layers and, and move things around. And, and the button, I don't think, is connected to anything. Let's move the button to turn on the the uh, Martin Luther King's always on. So let's have the button, the radio button, turn on and off Martin Luther King picture. So let's view that. All right, so now the radio button is connected there. And so you catch the drift here, that we've got an awful lot of control of what we can control, what we can't control on there. Um, and it's, it's interactive. And this gets more interesting when we're able to take data. So th this isn't implemented yet, but the idea is we'll be able to take data. So let me add a data, a data image. Where is it? A simple data table. And I'll just drag it here for a minute. And we'll say, pretend that we had an, uh, a, uh, a layer that we wanted to change the data of. And, and, and uh, so whenever we hit the true-false, we drag that over here, and we want to change the layer of that one. And it, well, it, it would do some operations. So for example, we would say, uh, when dialog 6 is, is click true, I choose, you know, whichever fields I want in that data table, and then I can set some of the parameters. Uh, let's say when the age is less than 18, and I get the or 16, and I get the option, you know, kind of and or, and that's where it's at now. And this is that isn't implemented yet, but it's uh, will be shortly. Thanks for watching.